One of the things the Zelda series is most famous for is its music. Who could forget the calming Kakariko Village or the epic Great Sea? However, one thing that I hear most complained about with The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is the lack of these classic themes. Instead, the music of this game is more melancholy, slow and sad, and in most cases makes way for the sounds of nature. But this isn't to say the classic Zelda themes we know and love aren't present at all in this game. Far from it. Instead, classic Zelda tunes are hidden, they're slow and broken like the land they once used to represent. Without further ado, let's get into the list. Number 5 The Chest Theme This has become perhaps the most famous Zelda theme ever. Appearing first in Ocarina of Time, the chest jingle builds up to the unveiling of a new item from a chest. But in Breath of the Wild, all the chests we've seen so far have lacked this classic jingle, even the Fire Rod. Perhaps because they're only small items, or perhaps they've forgotten it entirely. But it's not completely gone. A lot of what would be the key items in Breath of the Wild are now handled by the Sheikah Slate, which can download new abilities from Sheikah Shrines. When the downloading cutscene is playing, a familiar tune can be heard. Followed by the classic, you got an item sound. Number 4 Ganon's Theme This dark track is famous for creating the evil atmosphere in Ganon's tower, getting louder and louder as Link ascends the tower, closer to his final battle with the King of Evil. The low notes slowly building up to something reflects Ganon's desires, always building up to something greater and darker. Well, Ganon is the primary antagonist of Breath of the Wild through a form called the Calamity Ganon, so where is his iconic theme? Like most classic Zelda music in Breath of the Wild, it's there, but you have to listen carefully. Listen to this section of the cutscene on top of the first Resurrection Tower. The beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Did you hear it? It seems to have a weird effect on it, making it grow louder then quieter, possibly mirroring how the Calamity Ganon seems to appear and then disappear, fluctuating around Hyrule Castle. Number 3 Zelda's Lullaby If you played Ocarina of Time as a kid like I did, this song will be absolutely ingrained into your memory. And while it's not as prevalent in Breath of the Wild, you can still hear it. In the same cutscene as last time, a few iconic notes play. Now then, you must hurry before it's too late. While they're slow and broken, they're instantly recognisable as the famous theme from A Link to the Past. To check out my theory on what this means for the identity of the voice, click the card in the top right. Number 2 The Song of Time this one's inclusion in Breath of the Wild has become somewhat infamous, since it's so obvious yet so discreet at the same time. It plays at the Temple of Time, just like it does in Ocarina of Time. However, you'd be forgiven for missing it, because it's a diminuendo and is incredibly slow. I'll play this section on double speed, so you can hear the song. I think the Song of Time in Breath of the Wild is beautiful. It wouldn't fit at all to have the grand choir version of the theme like in Ocarina in this desolate ruin of the temple, so a quiet, sombre version, barely even recognisable as the song, is perfect. Number 1 Ocarina of Time Title Theme for this one, I owe the credit to Budaroo because he pointed it out over on the True Zelda subreddit. But he points out that in some of the shrines, a cool motif to the famous title music from Ocarina of Time can be heard. The iconic set of notes from the beautiful opening to Ocarina can be found hidden in the shrine theme.
I don't think it's anything more than a simple reference, but it's a really cool one regardless. Thanks for watching this top 5 video. Are there any cool Zelda music references in Breath of the Wild I've missed? Leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Cheers guys, and I'll see you next time.